Right, let's get started. So today I'm going to do my first impressions on the Maybelline Superstay 24-hour um, foundation. Um, it says, obviously, 24-hour fresh look long wear foundation with Microflex technology. And on the back it says, no colour shifting, dulling or fading, breathable and comfortable, non-transfer, won't rub off, dermatologically tested. So I'm going to give it a go. Um, I normally wear my double wear mixed with Colour Stay as my go-to, but um, I'm trying to find cheaper alternatives to the double wear at least, because obviously Revlon Colour Stay is not that expensive. I think this one was $7.99, I think. I'll double check online. Um, I picked it up from Asda. Um, and the Colour Stay, I bought that from... Super Dog, and that was twelve ninety nine, I think. Um, I've got the colour light beige, and I'm hoping it's light enough. So, and it will look too light to start with because I have a lot of redness. But I'm hoping. blend in okay in the end it's nice it's not too thick now I'm going to use my Cheap Primark sponge. And if you can hear noise in the background, it's the kids playing. By playing, I mean knocking stuff in faces. But shades of shiznip out of each other because that's how boys play, apparently. And is my lighting better? I know I look really white now, but I've got a new light. I'm testing for mammoths in. Got mammoths in. So, so far, one layer, really good colour match for my skin, actually. Not full coverage, probably medium-ish. Most people will probably be happy with this, and I want a little bit more, especially on my cheeks here. So I'm just going to do another pump. And I did shake it. That's better. So it is buildable. As well, which is nice. I'm actually going to use that under my eyes. I will go in with concealer. Um, oh my chin. Do a bit more on my jawline because this is where it tends to fade on me. Obviously, I'm not putting loads on my forehead because I'm getting to the age I'm getting all wrinkles and horrible. But so you know what I've got left on my hand. Hmm. I like that. Well, it looks like skin, which is nice. I am going to pop off the camera and I am going to set it with powder 
and do all my other finishing off bits and then I'll be back to give you my first impression on this foundation. Hi guys, right I'm back, I have contoured, powdered, highlighted, put blush on, stuck my eyebrows on um, so I can just film this outro quickly for you. So, so far I am loving the foundation, um, it's really lightweight, it doesn't feel like you're wearing it at all. Um, but I don't mind a heavier foundation either, I, I'm not somebody who's bothered by that, but if you like a lighter foundation then you will like this one. Um, not sure of the longevity yet, um, but I will update you in other videos um, later on down the line. Um, so far I'm really really enjoying it. Um, I will write down everything that I used off camera um, down below for you in case you want to know. Um, and I have an eyebrow tutorial which I'll also link below um, in case you're wondering how I get coloured brows and also how I bleach my brows I will also link below. So um, thank you very much for taking the time to watch my video and um, it would really mean a lot to me if you would subscribe, sorry that's my phone going off, if you would subscribe to my channel um, so you can keep updated and um, when new videos are uploaded. Um, I aim to do one a week. I've been a bit MIA at the moment. It's just it's just been like that. Um, but yeah, I'm hoping I'm back in the flow now and um, I will see you next week. So please enjoy the video and like I said, please subscribe um, and yeah, I'll see you in my next video. Bye!